Hi everybody, it's Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. So two things. The first thing is that today I am making a very cool Sam Wilson Captain America cake. This is a 3D cake and it took me many days to make it. It was very, very time consuming. And normally I try to give out templates and recipes for my videos, but this one it took so long and it was so time consuming that I got really tired at the end. So in this video, it's just me making a really cool cake. Also, the second thing is that I am doing a giveaway. I thought it would be fun to make a cake decorating kit and give it away to one of my followers. So in the kit, you will find an icing smoother, two flexible plastic smoothers, also some modeling tools, paintbrushes, and a plastic fondant rolling pin. To enter, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and also send an email to sugarhighscorecontest at gmail.com and be sure to tell me your name and address in the email. And also this is for United States only, sorry. And good luck to you all. All right, let's get started on my very cool and handsome Sam Wilson Captain America cake. Let's start with my cake structure. This structure is an MDF board and I have a threaded rod going through the center and then I have a smaller board which is going to hold up the head. And you will want to go ahead and get everything covered and food safe. I'm using a red, white, and blue vanilla cake for this one and I'm starting with his body and then I am working my way up to his neck. And for the neck I'm using two round cakes and for the head I'm using round cakes which I'm stacking up and I really wish I would have used rectangle shaped cakes. Let's move on to the carving. Start out slowly and just cut away a little at a time. And if you have a photo of the person you're making, blow it up to the size of the cake and then use that as a template. If you ever have an area you want to fill out, you can use cake pop filling. And that's what I'm doing here because my cakes were not big enough in the back. Here's a good view of the cake shape before I cover it in ganache. And then I'm just refining it just a tad. Next, I'm creating his chin out of modeling chocolate. So you just want to stick the modeling chocolate right up underneath that board. And just keep adding modeling chocolate until you're happy with the chin shape. And I added more around the jawline just to help fill in that gap. And now that I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to cover it completely in white chocolate ganache. Once it's covered, smooth it out with a flexible plastic smoother. Let's get him covered in modeling chocolate. I do wish that I would have gone a little lighter on the skin color because I think this was slightly too dark, but that is okay. And to achieve this color, I mixed red, yellow, and blue food color gels into my white modeling chocolate. And once we have the head covered in modeling chocolate, just smooth it out with your hands or a plastic smoother. I felt he needed more modeling chocolate around the mouth area and I am easily adding it and then blending it in and then I lightly warmed it up with my pastry torch to help smooth that out and this will darken the color of the chocolate so that is just something to note. To better visualize the face I'm sketching on the mouth and then I also sketch on the nose and this will just help me sort of imagine how it's going to look and where to place things. And next I'm adding the nose, which I made separately, and then I am blending that in. Use any modeling tools that you have to help blend the seams and create the nostrils. Um, these are my two favorite tools. It's the Dresden tool and also the this one from Sugar Shapers. And I spent a really, really long time on the mouth and I worked on it and then I would walk away and then later on I would start working on it again. It was just sitting on my counter and I kept messing with it for a really long time, but eventually I did get it. And then I'm using my dressing tool again to scratch up and make little lines in the mouth. And then next I am using black paint to create his facial hair. Okay, let's work on the goggles. So I was really glad that Falcon has these goggles on, and because mainly because I do not like making eyes. They're very difficult to make. So for his goggles, we're starting out with a big piece of fondant that I have stuck onto his face, and then I'm gonna cut it away to create the material that's on his face. And you just need to be really careful so that you don't scratch his face underneath while you're cutting it away. 
So I already made the goggles, which are completely made out of fondant, but I did mess up slightly because they should be red and not orange. He is in need of hair, so I am adding a sheet of black modeling chocolate to his head, and I cut away the excess, and then I continually kept changing his hairline until I finally got it right. And to add texture to his hair, I'm just using a little clay modeling tool that I have. It has a bunch of little spikes on the end, so just make a bunch of little dots all over the top of his head. I wanted my Captain America to have shiny goggles, so I'm making the lenses out of isomalt that I colored red. So I made two templates and I placed them under my baking mat, and then I poured the isomalt onto the mat and then I shaped it with my knife. I think they looked pretty good, and once they've cooled, you'll need to rewarm the centers with a pastry torch so that you can curve it to fit on his face. And let's finish off his goggles with a fondant strap and some silver paint. His body is getting covered in a sheet of fondant, and then I'm adding some details like his collar. Next, I decided to dust his face with food color powders because I thought his face was a little bit too dark and also it was too shiny. And I think that helped. And to finish off his face, I'm adding a few little lines around his mouth. Oh, and one more thing on his face, I wanted to dust his lips just a little bit darker than his skin tone. So I was almost finished with this cake and I decided to add more cake to his shoulders. And I just happened to have one more cake in the freezer, so that's what I'm doing here. So I am sticking a half circle onto, his, onto both shoulders and then I recover them in buttercream and fondant. I am really glad I made this change. I think it looks so much better with more shoulders. And lastly, I am finishing him off with some beautiful decorations on his suit. My Captain America cake is complete. I am pretty happy with this cake. It was a lot of work, but completely worth it in the end. Thank you all for watching, and if you have any ideas for me, please let me know down in the comment section. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!